and today I'm here with another book haul. I went to my local thrift store and I picked up five more books because again, no self-control. So I thought I would tell you guys what I picked up. So without further ado, let us get started. If you guys don't know this about me, I'm like super into psychology. I have a minor in psychology and mental illness is one of my favorite things. Three of these five books deal with mental illness, so I'm very excited for them. And the fact that I found them at the thrift store for so cheap was super thrilling to me. So I'm very excited to get into this haul. I'm actually so excited about all five of these books because there are five that I've actually wanted to read for so long now. The first book is Under Rose Tainted Sky by Louise Gorno and this book follows Nora who is an agoraphobic and she is scared to go outside she's scared of a lot of other things as well and then she meets a boy named Luke and they end up having a friendship and she quickly realizes that she wants a relationship with Luke but she thinks that he deserves a girl who's not afraid to go outside so it's kind of her trying to deal with that kind of thing but I've just heard amazing things about it everybody seems to love it and I wanted to read it since it first came out so when I saw it at the thrift store I freaked out. The next book that I picked up was A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard and I'm just gonna say that this cover is just gorgeous. I love it so much and I've heard amazing things about this one as well. It follows a girl named Steffi who doesn't talk and a boy named Reese who is deaf but they understand each other very well and they start a relationship and it's basically just the story of their relationship. I've just heard that it's really good and I'm very very excited to pick it up. This is another one that I've wanted to read since it came out. Out, so the next book I have is Wrecked and this is by Maria Payden. The book follows four separate teenagers who all attend a party on a college campus. Haley sees Jenny return from the party and she seems very shaken up but she doesn't really know why. Richard hears Jordan bragging about a very cute freshman that he hooked up with at the party. When Jenny accuses Richard of raping her at the party, Haley and Jordan are pushed to opposite sides of the investigation and it's basically everybody trying to figure out what actually happened that night. When the synopsis first came out a couple years ago I was very interested in it so the fact that I found myself a copy of it is very exciting and I'm definitely going to be getting to this one as soon as possible. The next book that I have is Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley and this book follows 16 year old Solomon who has agoraphobia. He meets a girl named Lisa who is working on an essay in order to get into the second best psychology program in her area and she decides that she's going to use Solomon as a subject and she's going to try to fix him and it's basically the story of their relationship forming and things like that. I've been interested in this for a while because agoraphobia interests me, psychological things interest me, so I found it very excited about it, going to pick it up, and it's very very short so I should fly through it pretty quickly. And then the final book that I picked up was one just because I've seen it around quite a bit. I honestly don't really know that much about it, but it's called Mosquito Land and this is by David Arnold. And it follows a girl named Mimi. Her parents end up getting divorced and she goes to live with her dad. And then she finds out that her mom is actually sick. So she decides that she's going to get on a bus and travel back to where her mom lives in order to help her out a little bit. She meets a bunch of people along the way and it's kind of the story of her journey to go see her mom. Again, I don't really know that much about it, haven't really heard anything about it, but I recognized the cover so I was like, it's a free book, you buy four, you get one free, might as well pick it up, so that's what I did. Alright guys, so that was my little haul for today. I'm actually super excited about all five of these books and I'm probably going to get to them pretty soon, so check out my wrap up whenever that occurs. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!